echo Tom's sentiment um, and others. Uh, when we're surrounded by hate, feeling the love is really important. It's so powerful in this room. Uh, and so this song is about finding hope in the hatred that's out there. I used to love my home, I still do. I sold everything I own to escape the bombs and drones, and I have faith. I'll see my family again If this is just a temporary ban I am one of the tired, huddled masses So hungry and so poor Fraught with desperation And racing to your shore And when I reach the coastline I'll be banging on your door I just want to see another day Please help me live to see Another day My true job is to protect my infant son We lost his mother in the blast Our new family didn't last And I have faith We'll be together again If this is just a temporary ban I am one of the tired, huddled masses So hungry and so poor Fraught with desperation And racing to your shore And when I reach the coastline I'll be banging on your door I just want to see another day Please help me live to see another day. Blindly, history repeats, but I let myself believe this is the end i am one of the tired huddled masses so hungry and so poor fraught with desperation and racing to your shore and when i reach the coastline I'll be banging on your door I just want to see another day Please help me live to see Another day such wonderful artists and I know that you have all asked yourself this question how do I know when something when a poem when a song when a story is finished and someone asked me that at a poetry gathering uh, a few weeks ago and I said well I'll and I told her a story I've been telling for years and years and years and years and then I went home 
and I wrote it down for the first time. So this is uh, the answer to the question of when is a piece of art finished. 100 years ago, an artist, world-renowned, strode into the Louvre Museum. Proudly, he stood before a group of finely framed, exquisitely detailed canvases he had produced across a lifetime of endeavor. They had been celebrated in international headlines when they were chosen for display. You would know their images and his name. Surreptitiously, the artist drew forth the brushes he'd concealed beneath his coat, along, <laughs> along with a small, supple palette. Furtively, he adjusted colors, modified design, on paintings already famous for their publicly deemed perfection, because he knew better. Thank you. I come from a very busy household. My wife, of the last five, nearly five years, is, um, is a healer. And she's always thinking about other people and concerned about other people. And uh, so we forget sometimes, especially this week being Valentine's week, you know, what's, what is the meaning of the day? Well, we know what it means and what we mean it to mean. But come to do things occasionally, I realize they're very valuable for her. I would ask her sometime during the day, hopefully out of the blue, did, in, did I tell you I love you today? And she'd say, she'd sort of break out of a reverie and say, no, you haven't. And I, it would help tremendously. It would help me too, because the response is always very, if it's welcomed, it bounces right back, don't you think? And every day should be Valentine's Day, especially you know, after the, the realization this week that Valentine's Day has been somehow spoiled for a lot of us. And I don't want to mention why, because we all know why. And uh, let it be the way it used to be, is what I think. So, to use the word properly, and so. This is a love song I wrote a long time before I met my wife. And she, she's always asked me, who is this about? And I'd say, it's not about anybody. It's all wishful thinking. And she doesn't believe me. But she likes the song, so I still sing it. into the night I wonder what you're doing tonight sand patterns are changing with the tide
I can almost feel you by my side I wonder as I watch the sky Naming stars within my sight I wonder what you're doing tonight Waves ebb and flow beyond the firelight Telling the truth I know that I'm really looking for love I'll be prepared, time will come And I know you'll be there And I wonder how it would be If you were sitting here by this fire Snuggling close by this hissing sea This poetry the stars above inspire I'm following the curve of the beach As I walk alone out into the night My star, my thoughts fly up to the stars You could be walking this beach with me tonight Telling the truth I know that I'm really looking for love I'll be prepared, time will come And I know you'll be there I know you'll be there I'm thinking about your eyes Thank you. This being Valenti Valentine's Week, I thought it was an appropriate poem, and it's, it's by Derek Walcott. I don't know how many of you are familiar with him, but... Um, it's a poem that I've had for a long time, and I don't know the title. The title is not on the page, and so I made up a title. I used poet, poetic license, and I said, The Love of a Stranger. The time will come when, with elation, you will greet yourself, arriving at your own door, in your own mirror, and each will smile at the other's welcome, and say, Sit here, eat. You will love again the stranger who was yourself. Give wine, give bread, give back your heart to itself, to the stranger who has loved you all of your life, when you whom you ignored for another, who knows you by heart. Take down the love letters from the bookshelf, the photographs, the desperate notes. Peel your own image from the mirror and feast on your life. song I wrote called Judas Day. Sideways to tomorrow From a jackpot yesterday The name I had to borrow Cause I gave my own away Just like the name I gave to you But you gave it back when you were through And now I stand here on my own Without a lot to do Thank you. 
Partway through the morning, wrestling with noon, I watch the midnight dawning from the corner of my room. It's got 13 windows, not any doors. Sit your cross legged on the floor, no entrances, no exits. Don't need them anymore. On a Judas day now. On a Judas day now. Took that day and framed it, and I brought it to a place where only you might claim it. A place not dark, just dimly lit in the absence of your face. Place not dark, just dimly lit in the absence of your face. Judy's Day, Judas Day. Thank you. So I had the lyrics here, and um, I actually wrote it on the occasion that Cheryl and I last performed together. And, you know, with the way things are today, I spend a lot of time thinking about what we need in the world, like, like everybody here um, has sort of like, what do we need more of um, in this world? We need more love and joy and understanding. And, you know, it occurred to me, actually, as I was trying to name this song, that if we want to see those things out in the world, then we need to put them out in the world. So for everything that we want to see, we need to sort of be the engine, the motivator to put more of it in the world, and then we'll see it grow. So this song is called uh, Give What You Need. And there are a couple of parts for you. Um, it's a new song, so I haven't worked out the guitar part yet. So I sort of need some backup from all of you. And thank you, Cheryl, for warming everybody up. Um, so I just need, thank you. And then there's a repeat. So the first verse and the last will be a repeat. And don't worry, I'll sort of 
give you a cue. If love is what you need, so the sea, so the sea. If love is what you need, so the sea, so the sea. Carry that love in your soul, it will tell you where to go. If love, love, love is what you need, so the sea. If joy is what you need, let us sing, let us sing. If love is what we need, let us sing, let us sing out loud, sing out loud, so the world your just song. If joy, joy, joy is what we need, then let us sing, let us sing. If understanding what we need, shake a hand, shake a hand. Understanding what we need, shake a hand, shake a hand. Reach a hand across the aisle, put on those shoes and mark them out. If understanding's what you need, then walk that mile, then walk that mile. If love is what you need, so the sea, so the sea. If love is what you need, so the sea, so Wear that love in your soul, it will show you where to go. If love, love, love is what you need, then let it grow, let it grow, let it grow, grow. If love, love, love is what you need, then let it grow, let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. If love, love, love is what you need, then let it grow, let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. This poem has a, absolutely nothing to do with Valentine's Day <laughs> or my marriage. Um, I come from a family where uh, expressing anger was sort of normal behavior. And so I, I learned how to have a temper, lose my temper. Uh, this is just sort of me examining what that process is like and how to lose your temper, you have to trust your temper. You have to sort of make an agreement that you're going to go to that place at that moment of decision. And who is this that comes to me now? Who comes to place his hand upon my heart? To take away this coronal of thorns and whisper in my ear, how great thou art. You offer me a sword I cannot wield with which to set the feckless world aright, consoling me in my self-righteous zeal until the pyres of fury all burn bright. Yes, I know you. I am no fool. I know you what you are, who comes to me to practice your black art. With rage like wax, you'd fill up both my ears and wrap your iron armor around my heart. The loved ones that this dark mask drives away, the damage done when your black veil comes down, till I alone am left to greet the day in cold triumph to bear your leaden crown. They are all lies, these promises you make. I will not shake the hand to seal the bargain you would break. Thank you. Um, my favorite Dr. Seuss book when I was growing up, I don't know how many of you know the Sneetches. It's not one of the better known ones. It's a collection of stories. And I always loved it. And it's actually um, uh, like five different stories, one of which is called Too Many Days. Um, so I have a confession, which is that when I was a uh, um, high school student, I went to the um, Bloomfield, was it Bloomfield Township Public Library? Um, <laughs> low these many years ago um, in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan, where I grew up, and I got this book out of the library. I'm like, oh, I just, you know, had one of those bad teenager days. I wanted to be a kid again. 
Well, somehow this book got packed with my stuff to go to college in Rhode Island. And um, I have failed um, over several decades now to return it to the library. <laughs> um, so as penance today, um, I realized I could sing something because when I brought it to college, I'm like, wow, I could like make songs of these. So as some of you know that I set the Gettysburg Address to music, if I can do that, I can set Dr. Seuss to music. So um, I'm going to sing you a story. It's called Too Many Days. <clears throat> Did I ever tell you that Mrs. McKay had 23 sons and she named them all Dave? <clears throat> Well, she did, and that wasn't a smart thing to do. You see, when she wants one and calls out, you hoo you hoo come into the house, Dave. She doesn't get one. All 23 Daves of hers come on the run. This makes things quite difficult at the McCaves, as you can imagine, with so many Daves. And often she wishes that when they were born, that she had named one of them Bodkin Van Horn. Van Horn! And one of them Hoose Foose, and one of them Snim, and one of them Hotshot, and one Sunny Jim, and one of them Shadrack, another one Blinky, and one of them Stuffy, and one of them Stinky, and another one Putt Putt, another one Moonface, another one Marvin O Gravel Balloon Face. <laughs> And one of them Ziggy, and one Soggy Muff, one Buffalo Bill, and one Biffalo Buff. And one of them Sneepy, and one Weepy Weed, and one Paris Garters, and one Harris Tweed. And one of them Sir Michael Carmichael Zutt. And one of them, this was my favorite, and one of them Oliver Bolliver Butt. And one of them Zanzibar Buck Buck McFate. But she didn't do it, and now it's too late. <laughs> <laughs>